Well, this is my closet. <laughs> so I have a lot of basics and stuff that isn't like too incredible, just like flannels and turtlenecks. I really like turtlenecks. But I really also just love to wear something poppy, like these kind of crazy patterns or sweaters like these. Um, middle school, I didn't really care about what I wore, except I wanted to fit in, so I would just wear um, kind of what everybody else wore, kind of honestly wanting to look like everybody else. I think junior year and senior year, I started to have the realization that I'm going to become my own person soon. I think from there, it kind of fireworked me being able to express who I was and what I wore. I have a little bit of everything now, just because I think my personality is a little bit everywhere. So these are my jean pillows. I made them out of upcycled denim, so basically old jeans, old family members' jeans. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> yeah. The fashion I like to do personally, I like to, you know, I like to dress up and stuff, but what I like most and wear, um, my future will be in fashion is working with sustainability and just stuff that can be reused or made from something. I think my teacher um, sophomore year asked me if I ever considered art school and at the time I wanted to go into biology and that thought kind of stuck with me for a long time and then I realized you know I've been drawing, painting, making little fashion outfits since I was maybe four. So then I kind of hit the realization that art has been like the underlying thing in my life that's been constant. No matter how much I didn't focus on it, it was always there. That really taught me to be creative with my outfits every day. I guess not just creative with outfits, but creative with the way I express myself and the way I just make art every day all the time. Don't get this leg, okay? Don't get this leg! I said don't get it, it's embarrassing. <laughs>